first principle that we manage here is hold your arm really tense. Okay? Don't let me bend it. Okay. Now you let it down. So open it. No. And hold it really tight. Don't let me bend it. Don't let me. Yes. Okay? How long can you hold like that? Now do this. Watch. Totally with minimum effort. Just totally relax here. And the same thing, but this time just the bones, not the muscle. Lock the bones in place. Don't let me bend. There. Which way can you lock? Can you hold on? This? Yes. How come you didn't do that in the first place? It's okay. <clears throat> this is the kind of uh, awareness that we need to have in our lives. That our bodies are prepared to do certain things without our excessive control of the mind. This is the ego trying to control the mind, the thoughts, the perception that we have of reality. And when we allow ourselves to just trust nature, then nature does its work with minimum effort. So, then you can hold for a long, long time. So this is what Aikido masters, Tai Chi masters, ballet, that any artist, they do. They tend not to control the muscles. They don't let control get on the way. They move their bodies through space, from the bones, not just with the muscles. It's minimum effort. So this is what in Chinese they call it, the way we way do, without doing. Okay? Okay? Relax. Okay, you saw that? This was going forward a little bit. It's because we are not in control of our posture. We tend to sink in. So your ribs need to go in a little bit. Okay, something you need, just feel that sense of elongation but without tensing anything. Everything is soft. Just wherever I place your body, your skeleton in space, just leave it up. In there, in your skin. Look that. Find the same awareness, placing the bones in space, so that way they withstand the pressure of gravity. Because gravity is always going to be doing that to you. Okay? Yeah. How you feel your body once it's placed that way? You still feel tension, or it's a little bit more relaxed? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, because once you start placing your bones in space, the way they're supposed to be, all the tensions leave the body. So that's what we want. We got that kind of awareness as we move into space. So then you can effortlessly move your spot from the bones in place in space. All right, so that's the first uh, principle with an application that we can do, minimum effort. Where the mind goes, the entire body just follows. Okay? Um, so, with that in mind, one of the things that the Buddha said is that all that we are is the results of all the thoughts we ever had. Because all our thoughts, they have an imprint, they leave an imprint in our physical body. Okay? Uh, pretty much he said the same thing when he said, it is not what enters man that contaminates him, but rather what comes out of him, what contaminates man. Okay, um, so like I mentioned to you, this second principle, it's from hypnosis, the well-known that principle, that where the mind goes, the body follows. Being in the moment and accepting things that sometimes we give too much value or too little. 
so now it's our time for us to become more acquainted of how is that we have unwillingly sometimes given too much power to people, places, objects, platforms. And we want to regain all this power that we have given away. So that way we stop being in separation. Um, and like I mentioned today, uh, we're going to be doing a little exercise to help each other to release tensions uh, on the sacrum. Uh, but first of all, my approach to the body is like I shared earlier, <coughs> that our bodies, it's a tool. And it's like a team player, actually, a team, because we assign our legs to walking. We assign to our hands, riding, pulling, grabbing things, our eyes. Each one has its own function, but sometimes we tend to control, like we did with the unbendable arm demonstration, instead of allowing nature to do it by itself. So our eyes also, they become very stressed when we just start focusing on one object at a time. Uh, there's a little technique that I will share with you right now that we use like this, we put our hands here, with three layers. So this is one, two, and three. And I just want you to focus your eyes from point A, B, and C. One, two, three, okay? So the first hand, start looking, see the fingers in the tail, and once your focus is completely there, now focus on the second hand. And I start seeing uh, the fingers in detail too. And now pay attention to what happened in the hand in between. focus what happens to the ground okay now shift your eye focus to the ground point C and pay attention to what happens direct your awareness to the first hand the second hand point A point B You notice something interesting that happens that the fingers become kind of like double even the color of your fingers enhances you can see the fingerprint even in more detail without moving your shift of focus from the ground when we practice this kind of vision we can start encompassing more our vision becomes very open because we start seeing with our peripheral vision and our eyes remain relaxed even the things that we are seeing they become even closer to us we can see in more detail when we start expanding our awareness instead of just targeting one object at the time uh, Carlos Castañeda in his series of books he called it seeing without seeing that you can be looking at a person that's coming at you straight but at the same time you pay attention to what the other people around them whatever they're doing, how they're moving and then we relax the nose so we're not doing this okay and then the throat, we keep it open so the breathing becomes like bad with the lips closed so we neutralize the nose, it doesn't stay open. I mean, it stays open, it doesn't go. Dot. Just keep the channel open. The nose and also the throat channel open. The diaphragm is pulling in the oxygen and it's pushing upwards to release to itself. 
Okay? So the first element, diaphragmatic breathing. Second, relax your nose. Relax your throat, soften. And lastly, let go of control of the mind, like consciously. We don't want that. So you allow to, your breath to just go in and out. Okay? So when we write our breath, the mind is the rider. The breath is the horse, and the breath is done by the physical body. So that's how we start becoming acquainted of writing our breath. We start meditating that way, just by doing that, okay? So let's close our eyes, and if I play the singing ball, this is nothing but a tool. It's a tuning tool. So this vibration is, resembles the vibration that already permeates all that exists in the universe. It's very simple. Okay? And once we fine tune ourselves to this vibration, we can find it in the loudest place or in the quietest place. And pretty much is the same. So you can be in a rock concert and you can still hear that vibration. You perceive it because it's not being perceived by the ears. Okay? So Everybody, just close your eyes for a minute and let's focus on writing our prayer. So the first thing that we do, we bring one leg here. Uh, we don't try to fix anything. The only thing is we're gonna assist our partner to release tensions. So we do the right leg. Uh, let's start with, all together with the right. Our partner's right. There we go. <coughs> And the first thing we do is just this. Don't press down. All we do, a little bit of steering of the bone right there. The femur softening, releasing the sacrum. And then we pick up a little bit the ankle. And just holding the knee in place and very gently we circle it around. One way, the other way. Tiny, small circles. Nothing big. Just becoming friends with the sacrum, that's all. Allowing the sacrum to release tensions. And now from here, we're gonna place our left knee under our partner's leg. And just let it rest right there. And now our left hand is gonna be holding our partner's right hip bone. So we don't allow the pelvis to move. And then we just start very gently just rocking front and back, our knee. And then from this position, we're going to start pulling our partner's leg away by making leverage hold with your right hand and close to the foot right there on the shin bone. In front, in front. Yeah. And now pull with your leg, like pulling the leg away from the body. At an angle, it's right, like 45 degrees and your right hand is holding, I mean left hand is holding on the hip bone. Mm -hmm. So hold the stretch there, there, stretch more. There. And now we start rocking, holding that stretch. Rock front and back. And now from here, we release it and we go back to small circles here be closer here hold on to the knee don't press down we just hold it in place the leg and now our left hand is gonna go to their the head of the femur right here 
The reason is we want to hold the pelvis in place so it doesn't come up, it doesn't move. Okay? And then our right hand is going to start pushing the knee towards the chest. And it doesn't have to be a lot. Okay? Everybody's body is different. Some they're very flexible, some are a little bit uh, less flexible, so that's okay. Just let your partner's body tell you how far you can go. Sometimes less is more, okay? So we are not here to test anything. We're just assisting the body to naturally start releasing tensions. And that is good. Now we're gonna bring it like a crossing the leg here, a little bit above the knee, our partner's leg. You can even put your right foot next to your body, partner's left knee, <coughs> just to hold the leg in place. <coughs> and now we're gonna hold with your right hand. You're gonna hold the hip bone there and press with your left hand slightly down, opening the leg. Very gently, not so hard. Just listen to your partner's body. Bring him up again. <clears throat> and now from here, once again, we're going to hold on to the head of the femur so the pelvis doesn't lift as we start going across the body. Straight leg there. And we release. And we go back to circles right here. assisting our partner very gently with minimum effort. Now lengthen the leg here and very gently you're gonna push towards you with your entire body not just use your muscles but use your entire body lean back bring it in slightly push the entire leg in and pull back again and now stir up a little bit there good now soften the leg here and we place it down up here we're gonna bring both legs of our partner together and you're gonna use your legs to lift don't use your back, okay? You want to keep it nice and healthy. So we bend our knees, and from here we lift, okay? And just hold your partner's knees together, and tiny little circles there with your knees. Don't force anything. Everything totally relaxed. Good. And then from here, what we're gonna do, if our partner is relaxed, we're gonna apply slightly a little bit of pressure on the knees, straight down. If your partner is not relaxed, don't do it, okay? It's more important that the body tells you when it's ready. So the way to know the relaxation, when you feel a little bit of obstruction in the pelvis, it's not ready. But if your partner is, relax then you can make little circles as you press down one way the other way and make sure there's two the right our right leg to our right leg okay so we're gonna hold our partner's leg in place and now with our hands, we're gonna do the following. We're gonna assist them to stretch the hip and the shoulder. So our partner's right side, okay? Hip and shoulder. So one hand goes to the shoulder, the other one goes to the hip bone, and just assist them to open, 
stretch. And hold that stretch. Trying to get the back flat on the ground, okay? And hold that very gently, don't over press. Hip stretch. A little stimulation to the back muscles along the spine. Very gently, not a lot, it's not a massage. Close to the chest again. And we shift to the other side. And in this position, we're just gonna lean back. Assisting them to stretch their hamstrings. And just hold that stretch a little bit. Now very gently, just go one knee first, then the other. Bring the knees together, the feet together, right there. And now very gently just bend your partner's knees there. And now open your legs there and wiggle them a little bit here. So the muscles on the sacrum, they're more relaxed, more relaxed. And right here you're going to hold them inside the big thumb, the big toe, okay? With your hand in this grip like this. And from here, you're gonna pull straight up. And keep holding as you're pulling back. All the way down. And right under the breastbone, right here, the collarbone, we're gonna press straight down in the breastbone. With two hands, we go like this. A little bit of pressure, not a lot, okay? Now the shoulders, and now the ribs, on the hip bone, down here, all relaxed like that. And make sure your partner is not helping you, so it's releasing all the tension there. Letting you just take control. And very gently pull one arm, pull the other one, wiggle the arms, random movement, nothing specific. You can even place your knees between your partner's arms. And very gently just open your legs, assisting them to stretch their chest, their shoulders. And we will the arms again. <laughs> the following. We're gonna hold our partner's sacrum with one hand right here. And then we're gonna start sending messages here to the muscles in the back, to lengthen, to stretch, to release tensions. Now very gently, we're gonna start walking our fingers from the cranium right here, okay? Very gently start walking our fingers along the spine as our partner starts arching he is her back. So start lifting your head, arch. Lift your head. There you go, and keep going. Keep arching, keep going. Move up, 
so ganz langsam sich aufrichten. The entire spine, arching, arching, arching. Excellent. Just keep going. Keep going. Keep going. There you go. Excellent. And then at the highest point, we're gonna place our leg right here, our knee, behind our partner's back. And very gently, we're gonna assist them to open, to rest there. So we press our hands a little bit slightly on the shoulders to assist them to open, to release tensions. And then we do a little bit on the ribs here. Good. And one more time now, we're gonna, this time, they're gonna do a C, like a big C curve. Excellent, tuck in the pelvis. Excellent. Uh, from here, relax everything. Make a big circle. He's there. And relax shoulders. Everything relax. And we place our partner's shoulders right on top of the hip bones. And we press very gently down. And very gently open their chest there. ribs a little and in this position we're gonna guide them to go back with that big arch in their spine place one hand in the sacrum assist them to go down while they're arching keep going keep going keep the arch excellent excellent all the way down and at the lowest point there now we're gonna very gently give a little bit of massage stimulation to all the muscles along the spine start from the neck massage don't massage the vertebra just the muscles along the vertebra the system to soften to release tensions along the spine. Okay, and now one more time we're gonna place the hand right here on the sacrum and we're gonna guide them to arch again. So start walking your fingers on top of the neck as her partner start lifting is her head arching. Keep lifting, keep lifting Keep lifting, only when I'm touching, there you go. Keep arching, more, 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 more. There, that's where you want to go. Excellent. We place our knee behind them. And very gently assist them to open their chest even more. Here. And the ribs. And one more time, we're gonna go on a seeker. Tuck in the pelvis, shoulders. Everything soft and relaxed. So we keep their shoulders right on top of the hip bones, straight down as we press, very gently. And one more time, we arch. Your knee behind them, assist them to stretch a little. And we assist them to go back with that big arch. All the way down. And now this time our partner is gonna be Touch it right here, fingertips together. Bring your hands in front. Excellent, just like that, fingertips together. And we're gonna give a little uh, <coughs> stimulation.
stimulation there to the muscles of the back to soften. Sacrum here. And we're gonna assist our partner to lift his her head. And this time they're gonna be inhaling through their nose and with a mouth open, exhaling. Excellent. So we just assist them. Keep one hand a little bit on the sacrum so they become aware of the spine being elongated. From the root chakra releasing up to the fifth. Any energetic blockages that might be there. Through their breath, they're letting go. <clears throat> and just take your hand away, just let